Hello everybody, it's Victor from Cardiac Wire, and today I'm joined by Rebecca McDade. Hi. She's the VP of Clinical Customer Success at Concert AI, and she's going to tell us a little bit about what they have going on here at RSNA 2025. <laughs> With that, why don't you introduce yourself, Rebecca? Hi, wonderful to talk to you guys. I'm Rebecca McDade, like you mentioned, VP of Clinical Customer Success. I've been with Terra Recon for going on 11 years in January, uh, and I use the product, uh, the Intuition, the Terra Recon AV software for about 10 years at the hospitals before that. So very familiar with the software, love it, very passionate about it, and excited to tell you about it. Wonderful. So I know this year at RSNA 2025, we have some new launches and new things going on with Terra Recon AV. Could you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, so we are just releasing our 4.11 version of the software, which includes all new tricuspid valve workflow. It also has advanced simulation for our mitral valve and our left atrial appendage workflow. We've also offered in a lot of um, automation that can be done on our APS side. Our APS is our automated pre-processing software. So it does things like bone removal, labels anatomy, things like that. So we've introduced a lot of AI there. So to make these more accurate and better, faster, more efficient than our previous versions. And it really does shorten and make the time for the technologist, the cardiologist, the radiologist, much more efficient, much shorter doing advanced processing. Wonderful. In terms of all of those improvements, what was kind of some of the thought process? Did you have clinicians in mind when you were adding these to the Terra Recon AV software? Yeah, so we actually work with a large number of actual KOLs, so key opinion leaders in the area, to work with us on really what was... We get feedback always from all of our customers, but then we hone in on the specialties. So for this, where we did a lot of structural heart with the purpose of um, intervention, we worked a lot with our cardiothoracic interventionalists to see what it is that they were lacking in their other softwares and how can we really fill that gap for them. So we really worked to make sure that the interventional and procedural planning portion of it was faster, easier, and again, more efficient for them because they're spending hours doing this really tedious measurements and work that are really important, especially if you're gonna put a valve into somebody's heart, you wanna make sure that it fits the correct size. And they're spending massive amounts of time, energy and effort doing that. So we really looked at how can we make that easier and faster for you, even though it's really difficult and advanced processing work. Yeah, well, with the way you describe it, it makes plenty of sense how this would impact and support clinicians. But instead of just talking about it, maybe we could get a demo today? I'd love to show you about Wonderful. it. Wonderful. Thank, Thank you. you. So I'm going to go ahead and load this study into our structural heart workflow. Let me grab this into our structural heart workflow, which has a number of updates in it. One of our biggest updates in this entire workflow come in the tricuspid valve. Um, which is all new, it's completely new to the system. You'll notice that when I load this, that the mitral valve is actually already segmented for you. You don't have to do any of that manually. It's already there. We do have the ability to edit that tricuspid annulus. It gives you a nice curved CPR view, which users are used to working in. I can move these points or any of these points if I need to adjust that. When I'm happy with it, I can go ahead and say finish editing. If I just agree with it, I don't have to do anything other than validate it. If I did want to do a calcium score, this particular study doesn't have any calcium, so I'm not going to do that, but I can do a calcium score here if needed. You can see if I click on the TC to RCA distance up in this left upper corner here, it's going to find the shortest distance and mark that in purple between the tricuspid annulus and the RCA, so for procedure planning. I can go ahead and mark that as the shortest distance or add that measurement. If I want to add additional measurements, I also have that capability. From here, I'm just gonna go next. This steps you through very quickly. It gives you all of the information that you need to do in here. Um, from here, I can actually look at my image. If I wanna add the papillary distance, I can actually come in here and add my papillary distance. If I wanna delete that, I have that ability as well. I can add my embedded geometry. You will notice that if the sizing fits perfectly, it will pull that part over, but I still disagree. I have the ability to adjust or change the parts that are in there. I do also have the ability to import STL files, which are the actual mesh device measurements. So I can actually import that from the vendors for these implants, and I can actually see what that looks like instead of our generic embedded geometry. From here, I do have the ability to adjust the offset. I can do that manually by dragging it. I, of course, have the ability to also decide like if I want a 70-30 offset, 80-20, I can do that as well. So you can make those adjustments as well. I'm gonna go ahead and close this. 
Um, I'm going to go ahead and say next. And what the system is going to do is it's actually going to bring up the inferior and superior vena cava segmentation that was done by the system. And this is where I'm going to do my transeptal puncture um, introducer sites for my stents, uh, for my, um, for my uh, simulation. So I have the ability, I can see where these are done. I like them, so all I have to do is validate them and go ahead and go to the next, which is gonna bring up the simulation capability. I can go ahead and deploy the catheter, and as you can see, that the catheter is coming from my IVC into the tricuspid valve. If I did want it to come from the SVC, I can switch that, and it can come from the SVC in. Generally, I'm gonna go ahead and use my IVC for this. In addition to that, I have the ability to rotate or adjust where this is located, so I can make adjustments to that. This will system will automatically detect for you the sheath length, if I want to hide the, the catheter itself to see better lengthening, I, the better measurements I can. It is also going to do the height. You'll see that it'll orient specifically to the height for you. Again, if it's in the way, I can hide the catheter so you can see that. I can do my IVC to tricuspid angle, which is calculated for you automatically and listed here. And I can also bring up my offset for you automatically. From there, I can go ahead to the next portion, and this is gonna give me an output of all of my information, and I also have the ability to generate a report. Once I generate this report, this is completely editable, so I have the ability to come in here and type in here and add comments, customizable with the customer logo and information, and anything that's in the DICOM header information is automatically gonna fill in here, as well as any of the measurements that are done will actually fill in here. You will notice I didn't do a calcium score, so that's why these are empty. And I can save these as a DICOM image that can be sent through to your packs. Or we do have other capabilities for transferring these measurements or exporting them in different ways, depending on what the user's need is. So we always discuss that in a project basis with them to see where they need those to go and how we can help assist to expedite that workflow after the measurements as well. So that's our tricuspid valve, which is our brand new one. Um, one of many, many exciting things that came in this 411 version, but that's one of the biggest for the structural heart side. So thank you. Rebecca, thank you so much for that demo. Let's get back to a couple more questions. Sure. Rebecca, thank you so much for that wonderful demo. It's very valuable for our viewers and for myself to understand exactly how this software works. Before we get going, I'd like to give you the opportunity. Do you have a message to your colleagues, clinicians, or anybody else who might be using the software out there. Absolutely. So first, thank you for the opportunity to talk to you and actually show this and, and get it out there to the customers and our customers. So thank you very much. Yeah, there's so much exciting innovation, especially with AI coming and at Terra, at Terra Recon and Concert AI. Um, so please, if you want to see a demo or you want to see how this can make your life easier, more efficient or faster, give us a call. We're always excited to share our passion, which is our software and our processes with you and let us see how we can actually help you. That's our favorite part is really helping the customers and helping make your life and your day easier, faster and better. Well, Rebecca, just by this interview, I definitely believe you when you say all that. Thank, Thank, you. Thank you so much for all of your time today. Thank I've you. I'm Victor. This is Cardiac Wire. Goodbye. Thank you.